Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our May edition of our mortgage blog. Ang focus po ng ating blog is on RBC 17th Annual Mortgage Survey. One of the results of the survey um, is that 40% po ng Canadians are going to choose a combination mortgage. Ano po yung combination mortgage? Halimbawa po, the mortgage is 200,000. You can have half of that, 100,000 fixed, the other half variable. You can have it in any combination you like, 125 fixed, 75 variable, 60 fixed, 140,000 variable. So, any combination po. Nagiging popular po ito kasi po, marami po tayong mga kababayan na ang gusto nila is to get the satisfaction or peace of mind na meron silang fixed mortgage. And at the same time, they want to maximize um, yung savings habang mababa po ang variable rates right now. Although marami pong gusto ng combination mortgage, 44% pa rin po ang mamimili ng fixed rate mortgage compared to 16% po na talagang gusto nila variable, direct variable um, clients po. According to Benjamin Tal, the senior economist of CIBC, uh, there, he's projecting that by the end of 2010, ang variable rate mortgage na po tataas by 1% and ang first pagtaas is June 1st, um, it can go up by 0.25 to 0.50%. Bakit po tataas ang interest rate? Samantalang ang inflation po right now ay hindi naman po mataas and ang manufacturing sector hindi pa rin po nakaka-recover. Ang sabi po niya, ang rate po natin sa variable right now is called emergency rates when the economy is an emergency mode. Although the economy is no longer in emergency mode, um, we have to bring back the economy to a normal level. Kaya kailangan yung ating interest rate normal level din po. So, mangyayari, mag-uumpisa po ang pagtaas ng interest rate, but it's going to be gradual, hindi po mabilis. By the end of 2011, he's saying that the variable rates will go up by 25 to 3% po. Finally, marami pa rin pong confused sa changes na in-implement ng government ng April 19. Tatlo pong myth ang nagpa-permit sa market ngayon. First, myth number one. Sabi po nila, ang down payment po ngayon hindi na 5%, 20% na po. Hindi totoo yun. If you're going to buy a property, doon kayo titira, principal residence, 5% po. Pag revenue property, paparenta nyo, 20%. Myth number 2, ang variable rate mortgage po kailangan 10% down. No, 5% down pa rin po. It's harder to qualify kung variable rate mortgage. Definitely harder than before April 19, pero 5% down pa rin. Myth number, number three, kailangan ng amortization is 25 years. Mali po, 35 years pa rin po ang amortization right now. Sana po marami po kayo natutunan sa ating vlog today. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to call me or email me. Thank you.